So no. let's get back on. The um, I want to try at least get one more story in if we can. This will be fast because it's absurd. <laughs> it's just absurd. And I just think to myself, like, why? That's it. Just why? Like, let's remake White Men Can't Jump. Oh, gosh. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Why? I think pups glitch. I mean, I mean, okay. I don't know. I mean, are any of you old enough to even <laughs> know much? Oh, did I glitch? Yeah. yeah you're you're glitch. Robot and yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. White Men Can't Jump. Reboot. I don't understand. I don't understand. Like, I can understand horrible. some of the big properties and stuff they're doing. Like, you know, the original originals made a lot of money. They were, you know, this was like one of those culturally fun kind of movies. I don't know. Troy, I mean, you remember more, I think more like I, 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 mean, I don't admit, know that it made a ton of money or anything like that. It was just like, it yeah, was, it was a know. popular enough film. I honestly didn't see the yeah, movie. And you myself. had Wes. You had Wesley Snipes and had yeah. that Woody guy, and it was a fun movie. And the the fact it is, elevated yeah, Woody was... Harrelson's career tremendously. I'm not I'm exactly. not saying that. I'm just trying to say it just seems like a weird choice. Like what? Huh? That's the other yeah. thing to use the term reboot for a single film. It's a remake. You reboot yeah. a right. ongoing franchise. You don't reboot a single right. movie. That's a I remake. Mean, unfortunately, in today's political climate of Hollywood, anytime that you mention anything about white men, you kind of have to be very cautious about it. No, you don't. It's okay Ooh. if you offend white no, people. No, I'm no, I'm saying is that when you inv- when some when move I'm saying us as movie Oh, owners, okay, I see what you're saying. When we yeah, see yeah. anything mentioned about white men coming from yeah. Hollywood, you kinda like, uh wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yep. I mean I, I, I think in part it's Hollywood just gets into this mindset of they need to go and keep with certain uh, buzzwords. I mean, how often are you now seeing the word multiverse? Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah. We've seen that everywhere. They've done exactly. it every single and, thing they're doing now. And like I said, Hollywood just gets into a mindset where there's just certain words this buzzword this buzzword works what's wrong with it? it's they they the are market, we, we've heard it they are the echo it, chamber like that's the way they it. are an echo chamber well, I, th- I think it was gary from nerdrotic said that star that hollywood is like five years behind everything else it's always five years behind everything else it's always trying to catch up on what's cool what's hip what's pop what's now which is and, interesting right because it yeah. used to be the other way around hollywood used to set the trends <clears throat> And I think you can totally see that when you look at the awards shows, right? It used to be that the Oscars were the big gala and you'd look at what they were wearing and then you'd see other people trying to emulate Mm -hmm. and stuff. And now it's a joke. It's a complete joke joke that nobody... My my mother said that she knew that the Oscars were a joke back in the 80s when she was watching it with the last time, one of the last times she watched it and she saw this one... For this one movie that she she liked, and she liked this one supporting actress, but she mm-hmm. lost out to for someone else because this. And she's like, "Well, that person has a lot more connections in Hollywood yep. than the other than the actress who was better than her." Yeah. Let me ask: Do you guys think this is um, a byproduct of the just the internet and just the cultural part of it all? Because to me, I think Hollywood just can't keep up. I think at this point now. Stuff Don't happens really. fast. People react to it. Content creation, smaller, smaller, faster streaming. So it, all this happens. Hollywood has this massive. Get me a script. Let's get it funded. Let's get it cast. Let's get it produced. Let's do. You know, get it in the can. We have to market it, edit it, whatever. It just, you know, I don't know. I think this the world has changed so much that the ADD part of us uh, is part of that as well. Uh, I don't know, Ironcaster. What do you think? I mean, yeah, it, it it is in part that because everything – because communication has sped up so much, news stories uh, that break, break worldwide. Now, thanks to websites right. like Twitter, thanks to all the social media. I mean, hell, we're, we're talking with Jason Norway right now. It's true. Yep. Yeah. It, so if I were to come out with a story that, oh, uh, Danny DeVito did a backflip and saved a baby. Jace was <laughs> in the like, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think this is like the meme culture, Jace, right? So like something you, you basically can follow American culture in Norway without even blinking an eye. Then cost you any money. Mm-hmm. No, or true. we can go and pull up, you know, stuff from Japan. Ultraman. That's true. It's very nice <laughs> too. But... Which I have on DVD. Oh, we were just, uh, Ironcaster no, no, has I, turned I, me on to the Netflix version. There's like a little animated one on Netflix, and I have to agree with yep. them. I'm only like six episodes in, and it is fantastic. Highly recommend. Yep, it's really been fun, and it is a great. Yep. It is a great. Uh, will we call it a reboot or just a continuation of the story? Because well, it's a little bit of both. I don't know. I'm good. I'm happy either way. A requel. I mean, it's it's ultimately just a requel. Is that the Migo figure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is yeah, this was a, a Migo, yeah. this was a Migo. Nice. Yeah. They started doing like they started making them recently for stuff. So it's like me. Oh, I and... got them. I, I have all the horror ones right okay. behind me. Did you see? I, I was eyeing up the Frankenstein ones at the store. At least you always know where you stand with pops. So I like that about him. He's not passive aggressive. He's not sneaky that way. He'll give it to you straight down, straight down both barrels. <laughs> White Mexican Iron Man adjacent to Mexican Iron Man. Listen, if I'm going to have a nickname, Austin Wom, it's going to be White Salsa. White Salsa. That's it. That's my Spanish name. Mexican. I'm Mexican. White Salsa. This is Kevin Murphy from Rip Tracks and Mystery Science Theater 3000. Hey, this is Mark from Casting Crown. Hey, this is Alan Powell from the film The Song. Hey, this is Christian Kane. This is Colin Mockery. Hello, everybody. This is Irony Singleton, a.k.a. T-Dog from The Walking Dead. And you are listening to my main man, Brandon. 